Hello! Class here, Mega Man Battle Network 5 Double Team DS. Um, let's see, in the last part, we were gonna go to the beach, but then we were uh, interrupted by official business. So we're patrolling the net. Uh, also, we got a Blizzard Man chip, and I feel like I should at least demonstrate it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna take out for it, though. I'll pr eh, I don't know. I'll, let's just take out a recover. Um, and of course, remember that you have to do it from the edit menu. Yeah, I don't really like it because it has a B chip code and nothing else in our entire folder has a B chip code. Okay, you store kernel's image data. If the data gets deleted, come talk to you. Got it. Yeah, so I'll probably be taking the Blizzard Man back out after we see it. Let's see. Let's see, the sword's not gonna do anything this battle. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Automatic ally assist. Yet another Mark Cannon 1S. I think I've already got four in the folder though, right? Let's see, is there a way to sort this? I would probably have to actually be in the edit menu. Oh. When it's time to take Blizzard Man out, we'll put the fourth Mark Cannon in. Oh, you're the sub-chip dealer. Where's the actual chip dealer? Okay, something about staring into abyss and seeing the unseen. We heard a team of Navis was formed to liberate the occupied net areas, but their identities are unknown. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm sure they're the coolest people ever. Okay, yeah, we were checking the net construction in Area 3. I wasn't sure if we our business was in Area 2 or Area 3. So I hit the L button to be reminded of what I'm doing in this game. Let's see, then the sword's not gonna reach anything. Convenient that Colonel hit the guy on the back row. It's like, thanks for that. Who are you? Heard there was some kind of scene and came right away, but you missed the mayhem. Oh, fooey. Guess you're a reporter or something? I feel like that's the style of Navi that all reporters use. Got the map data! And who are you? Oh, you store and recreate battles fought in this area. Would you like to re relive a battle between Nebula and a certain Navi team? Nah. I was there. Okay, welcome to ACDC Area 3. We don't get many vid visitors. They're worried about the effects of dark panels? I do wish more people would come. I'm sure you do. Okay, that wind box is going to blow me to the left. There's another type of box that pulls you in. But I'm pretty sure that's not that type. This will let me kill something, but I could also just kill something with the sword. Whatever, I'll do it this way. I feel like charging up is faster when you're on the back row. Uh, you do shoot faster the closer to the enemies you are. Um, just like in real Mega Man. Also, that wind chip we got actually just puts down a box that does the wind thing. I wonder if Colonel's gonna miss his shot if he goes for... Ah, I was hoping to get both of the enemies, but I had to dodge the... Um... The thing that was worth dodging. I have no attack chip to pair with my area grab. Um, I didn't even lock him in place well enough. Um, yeah, although Area Grab does deal 10 damage, um, 
you can't power it up with attack plus 10 because it doesn't have a listed attack power. Got 300 zennies. Cannon C. So if I put the cannon Bs back in as well as that, we could actually do our first program advance. Um, just to mention what that is, um, if you use certain battle chips in certain combinations, they become better ones. Um, I believe the cannon A, cannon B, cannon C combo just lets you use cannon a bunch of times. Sort of like the gold mushroom in Mario Kart. Um, it's just a, a temporarily reusable thing. Alright, well, we got Blizzard Man. We can do this. Thanks for destroying that wind box for me, Colonel. Pow! So I guess it goes through enemies, because the ball kept rolling. I didn't actually remember what Blizzard Man did. But, like, I don't think it's so good as to justify... Um, having it as a one-of, because uh, using three chips that have 50 or better attack is always going to be better than using one with 100. Well, pretty much always. Right. Oh, uh... What can I set as a regular chip? I've got 7 megabytes. I've been having second thoughts about uh, the attack plus chip. Where'd it go? Yeah, buster up, not the attack plus. Um. Because I tend to only have battles last two rounds, I get off about four charge shots. So this is effectively a 40 power chip. But like, I've still got cannons and crack out in the deck. Actually, do I have anything I want to replace crack out with? I don't like that chip. Another buster up! No. Um... Quake wouldn't be a bad idea since we've still got those A cannons. Copy damage? I think it's better than crack out. Alright, so where am I going to check on construction? Ah, here. Hello there! Are you the Mr. Prog that's here to restore the network? Correct. Is the job coming along smoothly? As smooth as a freshly defragged hard drive. Going well, but not fully restored at this time. I see you glad to hear it's going well. Okay, let's contact Barrel. Right, I'll call Barrel. It's me. Barrel? It's me, I checked the net. I didn't see any nebula agents in the ACDC area. Three network restoration is going smoothly. I see very well you may return, good work. Well, that finished my, this is my report. Time to get ready to swim. Yeah, we wouldn't want them to wait, let's do it. Oh, Mom, where's the swimming suit in the second drawer? Mega Man, where are the goggles? In the closet. He's running late. Let's get a move on. Well, we did, like, take the subway twice and <laughs> patrol the net. You have email I have email. Is it my friends asking where I am? Dex, use it. Lan, I want you to take this. Can't do anything with Gutsman gone, but you still have Mega Man. If you, these can help you take them. Got Dex code. I believe that means that I can unlock the security cube in front of Dex's computer. I'm gonna do that now. He might have blue mystery data in there that's valuable. I guess I could have gone to his house and used his computer probably at this point. Okay, so which security cube is his? Oh, I apparently have the mile code, and I forgot. Let's see, if I steal area, I can sword the front cannon. Hopefully I can get there before Colonel does his thing. Because I bet he's going to shoot the top one. But if I can make him hit the background, then his thing explodes. There we go. Good job, also, that was cool how I moved forward through the target and it missed me. Because I jumped over a square. Movement in this game isn't continuous. 
How about linking the web page with lands? Then you could come and go directly between his page and Miles. Shall I link, link? Or link them? No, you wanted to create a link. Here, take this, use this banner to come here. Got the banner. Now I'll place a link. Hiya! I'm gonna talk to the other Mr. Prog and then probably just jack out. Let's see. Let's see, if I get a counter hit with the sword, then I can kill that one with the air shooter. Got a busting level S. I guess I got a double delete by hitting one at the same time Colonel did? You only get an S on normal viruses when you get a double delete. Or a triple delete. Okay, this is Miles' webpage. She likes to shop and play piano. Good to know. Okay, next deck is computer. Then advancing the plot. I think it was faster to just restart from Land's computer, at least. So did I get anything in there? I know I set the link. I feel like there was a mystery data, but I've already forgotten its contents. Let's see, is there a computer over here? There's a reporter. Okay. So if I do this... I can stand here to make that one stand in place, so Colonel shoots it, and then I can do that to kill two. If the one in front had dodged the Colonel shot, it would have hit the one in back, and I wouldn't have been able to line up two with the Vulcan cannon. Okay, real sweet chips aren't found in the main street, but on those who go out of the way or something. Oh, that's Yai's PC! Need the P code! Whatever, let's grab this mystery data. I shouldn't have skipped it because I still need, like, everything they can drop. Okay, I guess, again, Colonel can probably be trusted to take out the front me tool, especially if we stand up here. Oh, no. So I guess I could have shot him. The top one, that is. Whatever. Good job. And yeah, don't really care enough to grab that mystery data that was behind the sub-chip vendor. Alright, Colonel, where are you going? You killing the top one? Oop! Dude, I had the me tools take turns. I had to stand in the middle, but uh, I didn't wait for the first shockwave. Later in the game, there will be other me tools that launch faster shockwaves. Let's just pretend I was anticipating that type. Oh, that's where I need the unlocker. Dex, where's your PC? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, that was early. That was something. This fight's going so well. All right. Oh, you do that every round? That seems overpowered. So is that the first fight since we got Colonel that's actually gone to a second round? Okay, there's the dex code being used. Alright. That there's the battle BBS, the crown jewel of this site. It won't fail to move you to tears. A battle BBS. Whoa! There are new posts here! Okay, I'm your webmaster Dex. Thanks for coming to my site, really. It's for you tough guys to talk about battles. Write about virus busting and net battles, will ya? Or use the BBS to challenge me to a duel, but be ready to go against duck get Dex and Gutsman. Not Gex and Dustman. Okay. Wanna see comments from class 6A at ACDC school? Okay, what's about the BBS being for tough guys that better not mean a lady like me's not welcome? Anyway, I need some net battle tips right away. How do you beat the virus that fights like a boxer? When I try to attack. It, it warps right next to me and punches me first, even though I'm at a loss this time. Okay, should it said tough guys and tough girls. Must be champy, I know what to do. When you line up with him, he'll appear near you. When he does move another space and his punch will miss. That's when I send a guts punch right back at him. That's the trick. Oh, guts man. Give him the guts punch he deserves with sound effects. Or the guts machine gun, or the guts hammer. Well, we don't use guts punches, but Dex's advice sure did help us beat Champy. I'd like to ha thank you on behalf of Missy Eye. Okay. Everybody decide what to write the report on. Roll and you are going to write about elements. 
Okay, and Kiletsu thinks elements are an excellent topic, because elements are everything. Fire, aqua, elect, and wood. Uh, there's a diamond. I don't care to read it, because I know it. I've played most of the Battle Network series. I haven't played six, though. Yeah, some chips merge, like cannons merging to form Giga Cannon. Tried it, but they didn't combine, but don't tell anybody. Yeah, that's a program advance. You use ABC cannons, and they, they're more powerful. I explained that earlier. Thanks. Wow, PO mode. Sounds difficult. I'm gonna try this PA mode thing. For my homework, I'll find lots of PA mode combos. So I think that's gonna tell us more combos throughout the game. The most important of which, of course, is life sword. Sword, wide sword, long sword. Okay. Yep, you're from the class. Have you seen mystery data show up in battle? I haven't yet in this playthrough. Finish the battle without destroying it, and the rest is a secret. Decided to do my report on mystery data. Okay, you're choosing regular chips. They always appear in the custom screen. You hold the shoulder button while you touch a chip, and there's there's an outline. Okay, you almost know your stuff. You didn't mention the data size. You need to have enough regular memory to set the regular chip. Okay, so that was a bunch of messages. But here's mystery data, what we really came for. Reg up one. Hmm, so I could set an 8 megabyte chip now. I think most costs tend to be even numbers. I think we had a lot of 8s, actually, in particular. We can do this. Huh. Nice. <laughs> Got him. Ah, another blue mystery data. Hello, Mega Man. Do you want to link this? Yeah. Link it. Then we can come check the battle BBS throughout the game. Got an HP memory. Nice. This is the page of the number one net battler. It's chock full of battle information. Except it's kind of a meme that he like always loses to LAN literally all the time. Anyway, let's save our data. It's been like half an episode and we wouldn't want to get murdered by the beach somehow. Yeah! I mean, what could possibly go wrong at the beach? Okay, they're all here. All waiting, because we spent like a million years and visited everyone's webpage. Okay, Lion, I've told you not before not to make a lady wait. Didn't mean it. I'll let you off this time, so where are we going? Okay, everyone was wondering the same thing. We're heading to the deserted island of Oran. Long time ago, Oran Berry... I mean, I all <laughs> prospered. I was just thinking how similar the spelling was of Oran to Oran, because it's literally the same spelling. Okay, it was a source of coal, and the mines closed. If nobody would bother us, we can have all the fun we wanted. Deserted island, that sounds like a real adventure. Time to cast sail. Hooray. And of course, all the boats are on the subway. Why wouldn't they be? Or, you know, we take the subway to a dock and then take a boat, and it's just abstracted out because that's boring. Two hours from ACDC Town, Lan and friends arrived at the tiny island of Oran in the Pacific Ocean. We're here! Time to go crazy. J not just yet. Why, why not? Welcome to Oran Isle. It's beautiful. The waters are clear and the air is crisp. What I tell you? We're the only ones here. So the bounty is ours for the picking. Look over there, the beach! Yeah, there was also beach to the right. Oh, let's take a dip. Wait, okay, Dex bets you can swim faster, and Land bets you can't. And eggs may or may not be rotten if you're last, or something. Yeah, let's go. Boys never stop goofing off. You go ahead by yourself, we'll catch up to you after we change on the ship. Now go have your silly race. There's nothing silly about it. Better run along, Dex is waiting. Well, let's go inside the ship. Land, what are you standing there for? I can't stand to depart from us beautiful ladies. What? Are you kidding? See you guys later then. And Mile is amused. Okay, and they're going. To the Yai ship. I 
Okay, we have control. I tried to jack into the tree. It didn't work. Some fishing lines tangled in the seaweed. Some people don't know how to fish. Lush green gap bamboo. It's a mystical plant that flowers every several decades or so. Fence blocks the way. Lone tree stands away from the rest. It's a rather lonely sight. Is this some kind of speaker? Also cannot be jacked into. That looks extremely suspicious. Dried out grass has been gathered into a pile. I think we need that later for a fire building segment. Okay, Yippee, can you feel the wind land, my man? Come on. Where's the iron? Yeah, they're changing on the ship. Let's suit up. Where's a good place to change? Okay, he knows just the thing. Can't possibly. The forbidden art of suit changing. Houdini of the beach. What's he talking about? It's a forbidden art passed down from father to son. Remove pants, then wear your suit over your underpants, then remove underpants out from under suit. This way you can change into your suit without once getting naked. What makes it a forbidden art? Allow me to explain. On the one hand, you can safely change into your suit, but not without paying a dear price. When you remove your suit from beneath your underpants, you're forced to stretch your underpants out and pull them over each leg one at a time. Now take it from me, that can be a lot of stretching. More stretching, in fact, than most underpants can stand. With each use, your underpants take a beating. Before you know it, your overworked underpants will let out a terrible sound and rip in two. What's worse... Oh, they're babbling about stuff. And they're already changed. Ta-da! Okay, gonna have a swimming race, so hurry up and get changed. They're gonna get into the water. Okay, let's get changed. It's, it's time for the technique. Oh man, who could have predicted that? Okay, and then the, the casual transition, everyone's swimming. Yeah, there's a swimming race that's gonna happen. What's that? Uh... Yeah, yeah, awesome. It's a jet-powered inner tube. That seems fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's the watermelon, not me. <laughs> Wait, it's... she telling herself to go? Right, left, <laughs> let him have it. <laughs> Miles is again amused. This is a very amusing trip. Okay, everyone's changed back. That was fun. And it's not over, the fun's begun, but first we've got to eat something. Next we'll catch some fish. And are we up for a fishing battle about how we're going to fish without equipment? Are you kidding? All you need to fish is bamboo, fish line, and worm. <laughs> you can find that much lying around somewhere. Whoever catches the most fish wins. Okay, and the ladies will wait, because Dex is going to get a head start. Because of course he is. Oh, he never runs out of steam. Yep. Email for us. It's an order from Beryl. Let's step away and read it out of sight of the others. Because, yeah, they would have totally looked at your pet while reading it. Or perhaps you'd be compelled to read it out loud. Okay, yeah, we'll find some stuff to fish with. Okay, they're not counting on us, but good luck anyway. Yes, of course Yai has probably prepared some amount of snacks. And the sandcastle disappeared! <laughs> I mean, I can just read it here, can't I? Go to Oran. That's convenient. Next mission will take place in Oran Area 3, but we need to scout out the area first. Areas are to go to Oran Area 1 on the net. I'll send Colonel along as well. So at some point we need to figure out a place to get on the internet, but... I mean, we can... We, we can't collect the bamboo. I thought we needed bamboo, fishing line, and worm. But I guess we... Do the mission first. Suddenly, the speaker can be jacked into. <laughs> Amazing! <sighs> We're in Area 1. We found it. Uh, I don't feel like I should save again. All those cutscenes were hard work. I mean, we could lose like 7 minutes of progress, except for the fact that you can skip any cutscene in this game with the select button. So, uh, we'd be able to get back here rather quickly. Okay, don't scare me like that. I thought you were Nebula, Nami. I'm sure you did. There's a Quake 1A. Now we have two of them. Maybe I should replace the Cannon A with Quake A? 
Except cannon is often so convenient to just like deal with a me tool. Let's see. I don't have a way to hit anything with the sword. I think this is the combo that'll deal the most damage. Huh. I forgot that object would go sliding. I think that would have done 100 damage if it had hit an enemy. Um, you can actually also make objects go sliding like that with... Air Shooter. I should probably be doing that more. Welcome to Orion Area 2. For your information, you cannot reach Area, area 3 from here. The entrance to Area 3 is on the top floor of Area 1. But Nebula Dark Lords are lurking in Orion 3, so it's best you're not going there anyway. Right, top floor of Orion 1. Maybe I need to go through Area 2 to get to the top of Area 1, though? Wish I had a map. Let's see. Hmm. And the Wide Sword's gonna deal more damage than... Yeah, well, that worked. Busting level 9, because we just instantly killed everything. Yeah, let's explore Area 2 a little more. See, there's a giant ramp. And money. Actually, do areas like this... Okay, yeah, we need to find the map. I wasn't sure if maybe it only applied to, uh, like, dungeons. <laughs> Those swords aren't gonna do much. I'll pick them to get them out of the way, though. Didn't move backward in time. Oh wait, yeah, that guy comes forward at us. Alright, that went well enough. I didn't catch whether we were on a fire panel when we got hit by that fire punch. Uh, it consumes the fire panel to deal double damage to whatever's standing on it. So that uh, could have been painful. See, if I push the enemy back, I can then hit both with the Gatling. And that type of fan is going to pull us in, and that wood enemy regenerates health while it's standing on grass. <laughs> of course, it also takes X4 from fire while it's standing on grass, because it takes both the elemental weakness bonus and <laughs> the panel bonus damage. I guess I should be ending things off soon, but... Oh, hey, there's uh, in-battle mystery data. I don't want to handle this. If I can get the steel immediately... That guy's not even going to move now. Nope. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to dodge the bomb when you're close to him, I guess. Alright, get! So in addition to the Zenny... We got the contents of the mystery data. It was Tornado L. A tornado hits two panels ahead of you for a lot of hits. I think it's like five hits or something. So it really benefits from attack plus 10. Floors, sorry, moving pathways. They're, yeah, we saw these in Scilab. Hm. Okay, now I can fairly easily just wide sword that fool. Got a bug frag. Let's see, is there anything over here? Oh. There's a computer. Or a jack in point. Hmm. Uh, let's go with roll for the health recovery. It will still kill the guy with the attack plus 10, because it's three hits. Okay, and confirmed that roll is at least 60 hit points of recovery. 1,500 zenny. Worth it. Uh... Store is under Scilab control. Access from Orin area to end area ahead is restricted due to measures taken against Nebula. Only authorized personnel are allowed here. Okay, so it turns out the secret was not within the ramp in Orin area 2. 
But at least there's a shortcut back. So I guess next time we'll explore Oran Area 1 better. I thought I took all the pathways. But I probably just walked by one, and then walked by it again later, <laughs> or something. But uh, yeah, we'll make our way to Area 3 next time. See ya!